on a second. I think I hear something. Hey, how'd you guys get in here? Well, since you're here, might as well start the video. Welcome to Nerf Nation, welcome back to the CJ Nerf channel. Up today, we have another comparison video for you. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you've watched the Nerf Blaster review from time to time, and you probably heard the term, oh, there's a tactical sling mount here, here, and here on a different type of blaster. But what you never hear about is going over the different type of bandoliers that will actually attach to those tactical sling mounts. So strap up, son. Today we're going to take a Nerf comparison video of different bandoliers and give you all the pros and cons and the different price points so you can take your tactics to another level. All right, guys, the four bandoliers we're going to compare is the Nerf Official, the Jetting By, the NF Strike, and a free one from a duffel bag. Guys, let's take a look at the shortest length dimension and the width. So here's the breakdown of each per bandolier. Here is the full length dimension if we opened up the bandoliers to make them as long as possible. To give you a close up view of the actual swivel hooks and the connections. All right, let's begin, shall we? First up, the free one that I took off of my duffel bag. All right, guys, taking a look at the lowest quality, least expensive strap in the bunch. And this is strictly any type of strap that you can pull off of a laptop bag or a duffel bag or a gym bag. So just simply go ahead, take it off, detach it, attach it to whatever blaster you want, and go ahead and sling it and start playing. Now, keep in mind that these, these straps are actually limited in how far they can extend. So in this particular case, I actually can't use this one physically because I'm a grown up. But for a younger kid, like, I don't know, anywhere between like eight to 12, this might be per couple drawbacks to this strap. And one is that you can't mount any darts or magazines on the strap itself. It's not made for that. It was made to carry your gym bag. The other thing that you're gonna notice is that most of these connections and swivel hooks are gonna be made out of plastic, not metal, like the other three that I'm about to show you. So keep in mind that the quality might not be there. And you know, like this little clip right here is pretty flimsy. Uh, you know, it could break if you put it on something as heavy as like the Judge. But for something like the Retaliator, it's pretty, you know, pretty much does the bit. And you know what, the price is right, it's free. So, hey, the only thing I would say is younger kids out there, if you intend to try to do this, ask your parents first. I don't wanna see you get in trouble because you watched this video and I told you to take something off your father's laptop bag. <laughs> don't do that, all right? I don't wanna see you get grounded for that. Up next, the bandolier from nfstrike.com. The next bandolier we're gonna take a look at is from nfstrike.com. This company was formerly Lightake, now they've moved all of their Nerf compatible products over to nfstrike.com. There'll be a link in the description if you'd like to pick up this bandolier. All right, the NF Strike bandolier has a couple of cool options. One, it holds 10 darts on this side, 10 darts on this side for a 20 dart capacity, as well as one magazine in the center. This strap is actually extremely loose, so if you're running, it's gonna slip out pretty easily. But all you'll need to do in order to fix that is maybe just tighten this up with some electrical tape, or you could put a couple staples in. The darts are actually okay. It's a little bit of a loose fit. They can pop out on occasion, but for the most part, if you're just running and kind of posting up and leaning out and shooting, you're gonna be fine. Now, the swivel hooks on the bottom are actually metal. They swivel 360. They're pretty nice. They clip on pretty easy. It really does the trick nicely if you operate it the way I'm doing it right now. I love the yellow and black, kind of matches the old N-Strike Alpha Troopers, and this is the one that's probably gonna strictly stay on. The quality of it, yes. You know, it's perfect. Extend it all the way out. The blaster actually fits pretty much, as you can tell, right on my hip, which is kind of where you want it, so you just can pick it up quick and go. And then if you let it go, no problem. Now keep in mind, I'm about 5'8", so if you're six foot four, I don't know, dude, you might want to get a different, a different bandolier. Quality is nice. It's gonna hold any blaster you have. Just the only thing that the downfall of this strap is the darts and the magazine. And I would say the darts aren't really that much of a problem. It's more the magazine. You're gonna have to do something if you wanna actually carry those on the front. But for a price point of $5.33, it's not a bad option. All right, let's take a quick look at the Jetting By Bandolier, which you can get on Amazon.com. All right, let's take a look at the Jetting By Bandolier. This one comes in blue and black. The blue does match the elite color of the stripe, as you can see. Pretty much got the same problems as the NF Stripe one. There you go, the magazine just slips right out. Glad that happens so you guys can actually see. 
This band again is extremely loose. Look how far I can pull that out. How's it actually gonna hold it in there? I mean, not even doing anything, just jumping and it comes out. So keep in mind, you're gonna have to actually do something to this strap too. This strap retails for about $6 and I don't know, 10 cents, I think. So it's really not that much more expensive than the other one from NF Strike. The darts itself, They're okay. I mean, they kind of hold in there pretty good. So it's really just the the magazine strap portion of this that you're gonna have to actually fix. Getting by strap actually has the swivel 360 metal um, clips, just like the NF Strike one and the Nerf bandolier. And for the most part, if I extend it fully out, it's exactly almost exactly where the NF Strike one was. So very simple to hold. Drop it. It still stays on your hip. Very nice. The quality of the strap is not on par with the, um, the Nerf official bandolier, but neither is the NF Strike one. So just keep in mind, you're paying half the price for a bandolier that's actually going to work quite well to actually hold blasters. And finally, let's take a look at the Nerf official bandolier. And finally, let's look at the most high quality, most expensive bandolier of the bunch, and that is the Nerf official bandolier. This Bandolier actually gives you a ton of options. It actually holds 12 elite darts here on this portion. It also has straps enough for six different magazines. So you can actually put one, two, three, four, and it just keeps skipping all the way to the back. Now what I did find is because of the fact that they wanted to put stitching in between the two magazine ports, it actually left enough room to slip a mega dart in. So you can actually hold a few of those. There's only two locations where I wouldn't recommend doing it. That's here and there's one on the very end because there's an extra flap of uh, material here which actually will deform the dart a little bit so I wouldn't put them there. But overall it's a very nice feel. The magazine really holds in there nice as well as the darts. It's a really really tight fit so you could actually strap these on and have zero problem. The width of the band and the strap density and the fibers is just really really good. You can put any Bellaster that Nerf currently owns on one of these and you're not gonna have a problem. I mean, here's the demolish, you can just pick it up and go, and I'll just drop this thing and I got zero problems. So, because of the length of this blaster, I don't have this fully extended and it's still on my hip. So it's a really, really cool option for those of you that are bigger and are looking for a strap. And then the fact that this comes in orange and black and blue and black, you have two different color options to choose from. So overall, this is a really, really solid bandolier if you're really looking to strap things on the front of you. Now, if you're a really small nerfer, like four or five, you may want to take a look at some of the other options that I presented, just because of the fact that, I mean, do you really need a huge strap like this for a, a younger kid who might not be big enough to actually use it? So that's something that you're going to have to determine. Right now, you can pick this um, bandolier up on Amazon for $11.99. It's on sale right now as the day I make this video. So if you watch this video and click the link in the description and it turns out it's more expensive, well, expect it because it is gonna go back up, but at the time of filming, this this bandolier can be picked up for about $11.99. Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for my bandolier comparison video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and took something away from it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if it's your first time seeing one of my videos, why not subscribe so you can get more helpful tips just like this one. So once again, guys, from our family to yours, have a wonderful day, everybody.